Hello guys and welcome to New Home Cinema. I'm your host Benjamin and today we're talking about set building in GTA 5 to improve your GTA 5 movie or short film. So stay tuned. So in this tutorial series, we are talking about uh, how to improve your GTA 5 movies, how to get a cinematic uh, look on them, and uh, what's important uh, from color correction or color grading, um, set building, lighting, lighting, and so on, camera placements. We're talking about all that stuff, but uh, today we're focusing on uh, set building. And this is a set I uh, built three or four months ago for a Fast Furious-like movie. And um, as you can see how important light is. <laughs> this is a flashlight actually uh, over there. And um, I will teach you step by step how to create awesome sets. Uh, I will tell you what's important. I will show you different sets. I will um, give you some information on where you can uh, download some presets um, so that you don't have to um, build them your own and uh, the essential tool for building a set is uh, the map editor. Map editor is a mod, a tool. Um, you can find the download link in the description and uh, what it does, let's step right into it it allows you to place any kind of objects that are in GTA or in your object list right at the spot where you want it to be. Uh, for example, um, let's find some dirt and now we can place it wherever we need it. So if, if we need it here, we place it here if we need it somewhere else we can place it somewhere else and you see all these objects are placed even the pedestrians and the uh, vehicles can be placed like these uh, Bugatti Veyron over here and um, with some lighting like these work lights they are actually working uh, at night um, you can create awesome scenes for your movies and um, I will delete this scene for now. Um, bam, now it's gone. Um, because we are building the set you saw earlier. Um, this was in the middle of uh, Los Santos, not in the forest or something. And um, I will show you some cool spots where you can build your sets. Um, first of all, we go to Fort Sankudu because Fort Sankudu has the perfect spot for building sets and this is in this A2 hall. Um, this is an empty hall <clears throat> where you can spawn with the uh, with the map editor. I, uh, I'll show you. Sorry, I'm a bit sick now. So sorry for that. Um, what I like about this place, you have a lot of room and you can control your lights and this is very very important if especially if you want some uh, atmospheric shots light is very important and to control the light is very important and uh, if you put some uh, walls or fences in front of these uh, windows you can get a completely dark room at night and you can control everything so I've built uh, houses in here uh, I've created some a lot of stuff in here so this is a spot I want to show you uh, this is a great spot for set building even like it's in Hollywood in Hollywood they also built uh, even the interior shots of houses they built in uh, giant halls so um, this is why I show you this. this is really believe it or not this is a great spot to build sets but <clears throat> first of all I want to show you a set um, 
someone built and he published it on uh, gdf5-mods.com and you find the link in the description. This is an awesome, awesome set for, uh, he, call it, he calls it After Us, I think. This is a set about uh, apocalyptic um, Los Santos about um, zombies and stuff like that. And it's right here, so we spawn here. Um, and we put after us. Oh, this was wrong. Oh, this was just AS. I'm sorry for that. Or AU? AU. Oh my god. So long ago. So I'm totally wrong, right? So AU. After us. And now let this party begin. Uh, now it takes some, t uh, some while to load all the objects. You will see it now. Uh, there's a damaged helicopter um, but there are some rules you have to know uh, when building a set for a certain scene uh, for example this set you will see right now uh, it's it's an awesome set but there are too many objects in it so uh, if you have sets with 900 plus objects it will cause your GDA to crash when editing in your uh, in the Roxa editor, um, <clears throat> so beware of that. <clears throat> Very important. You don't want to uh, crash the game. Um, what we are focusing on today is how to place objects, how to place pedestrians, how to place cars, and um, the next thing in the next tutorial we're talking about lighting. lighting. Uh, how to get uh, a certain mood into your shots and uh, then we're talking about uh, camera, camera movement, camera placement and so on. Uh, let's focus on this set uh, first um, so we have to wait a little bit more and I show you some really cool stuff uh, some stuff he thought about and yeah don't load it, really. This is, this is an awesome set. But you have to uh, delete some of the objects if you want to film it. But I guess uh, Repeatment, this is his name, he's a Russian guy who made this map. Um, he did also a version uh, for the Rockstar Editor. So a smaller version with uh, less objects. So check this out. So, now we're not ready to go. Take some more some more seconds to load. This is normal. A lot of objects. I guess altogether uh, about 1,600 objects or so. Something like that. Or 1,700. Uh, 1, All placed by hand. And um, later on I will show you some of the techniques you see used uh, to create atmosphere. For example, like uh, smoke and uh, stuff like that. As you can see, this is this is an awesome set for your movies. Um, and I show you something really special, or uh, a really cool thing he he did. Uh, first of all, I need to find it. Let's go into the buildings. Oh yeah, here smoke. As you can see. Uh, this smokes come from broken um, air conditioners. And now when we go into the building, we can see them. There they are. This is one of them. And you can place them under the map so that the smoke will come out uh, on the floor or you can place it as he did in buildings, etc. But with this smoke, you get a lot of atmosphere. This looks awesome on movie and... Uh, as you can see, yeah, this is this is really awesome. This is this is here a lot of smoke. And imagine standing here filming, uh, get great shots. Really, believe me. So now uh, we are focusing on uh, how to make your own uh, sets and how to build your own sets and. Uh, we are looking for a small alley. Or I'm looking for a small alley. 
Let's do it. Uh, here. This alley is absolutely perfect. So we have some lights here. We use them. But um, you can also delete them by pressing the delete button, actually. Um, and now you press, if, if you want to build a set, you press F. And uh, you can search for whatever you want to place in here. Let's say uh, we want some dirt. Uh, this looks perfect for us. And uh, so put it here. Um, but now we have a small problem. As you can see, it's floating. So we make a left click with the mouse. And now on the Z position, we can fix this. Perfect. So. Um, then we can look for other things, for example this one we put over here. And now some spooky trees, we need trees, we need a lot of trees. Let's uh, put this one here and press F and look for other trees. Oh, this one is fine. We can put this here and now we put it into the buildings. Hours later. Okay, now we have in the building. Looks awesome. Uh, we need some more atmospheric trees here. So let's have a look for some cool trees. This one over here. one over here and now you're thinking oh my god what is he doing in this alley um, I will show you the final result um, but before uh, we will put some persons in here uh, simply press P and now you can look through all different kinds of persons um, if you want special characters or you know the name you can find them by simply putting the name on it in it uh, or uh, Franklin for example um, but we want to have some oh, film director huh. uh, our homeless I don't know if he finds something, no, he finds nothing with homeless. So you have to look through your pedestrians. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect where he was. Perfect. So, um, we put this guy over here. And now we can, uh, with a simple click with the left uh, mouse button, we can say that he should do something. Um, for example, work, warp, uh, drink coffee, I will show you, or smoke a cigarette. Uh, not every uh, action is, uh, can be done by every character, but most of them. As you can see there, uh, you have a lot of stuff to do. So he filming. So this guy can't film, um, but he can blow leaves, as you can see. Oh, golf! <laughs> as, you, as you can see, there are a lot of actions. Um, he can't make party. Oh, he can make party. Great. Um, as you can see, he can uh, torchlight. You saw this earlier in the uh, 
in my first set I've shown you. So and now we put a car in here, you press V and then simply um, let's say an adder for example and there we go. And you can put this car over here. And now we have a custom scene. But this is actually not a good scene, right? Um, but this is actually the scene you saw earlier on. Um, without the guy and without the car, I will show you the exact scene I built um, for the video at the beginning. Oh, we have to... I'm sorry, we have to delete it first. This is just a small scene, so... There we go. This is actually the scene you saw early on with uh, Trevor as Agent 47. And what we did was, uh, right as you saw the trees, uh, um, then the air cons, the air conditioners beneath uh, the floor and there is a small wall with a light, with a work light behind it, as you can see. And this gave me this creepy shadow thing, what I needed. Um, if you have any more questions on uh, how to put together scenes and um, stuff like that, uh, put it in the comments. Please ask, I will, I will answer to every comment. And uh, if you like the video, press a like. If you want to see more tutorials on how to create cinematic looking GTA 5 movies, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, that's it for the moment. I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something from the video uh, to use the map editor. Um, a quick note for the uh, uh, at last, um, if, if you use lamps or work lights or something like that, always place them where the cam camera can't see them, but I will talk about that later on in another episode next week. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day. See you. Bye.